Hi everyone, today I will talk about DNA meta barcoding of Krakow's web provide insight into diet uh, of highly migratory sharks in the mid-Atlantic bite. Before I start my topic, uh, let me explain the method for diet analysis of sharks. Uh, for traditional method, you uh, usually use visual identif identification of stomach con content like this one. But uh, this method is lethal and inefficiency. So this st study used a new technique we call DNA meta barcoding of Krakow's webs. And this method is non-lethal and highly efficient. So you may ask what is Krakow's web? Uh, Krakow's web means uh, we use the cartoon web to collect fecal sample from the Krakow opening here. So what is DNA meta barcoding? It is a biotechnology and it is different from the typical DNA barcoding. Uh, DNA meta barcoding can identify many taxa within a sample, like this one. So about the uh, study area, uh, the study area is in Mid-Atlantic Bight, also known as MAB, and it is near New York and extends from the coastal Massachusetts to North Carolina. And this area is critical habitat for migratory sharks during summer. And sharks in the near soil water of the MAB are dominated by uh, sandbar shark, dusky shark, spinner shark, sand tiger shark, and black tip shark. And the shark in the offshore water of the MAB are dominated by blue shark, uh, short fin macro shark, dorsal shark, and white shark. So, uh, regarding seasonal migra migration, this nine species of the this nine shark species, uh, they will migrate to the MAB in the summer. Then they will stay here during some. Uh, in the spring, and they will stay in the um, MAB during summer and the fall. So why do we have to study the diet of sharks in the MAB? Over the past century, uh, over the past century, there, there, uh, there uh, has been a decline in sharks population, um, mostly because of fishing. So we all know that the sharks is critical role to in, in a food web and it will in influence the marine ecosystem. So the diet analysis of sharks is important to shark conservation. However, we still um, don't know the di dietary habitat during the uh, mi 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 migration of these sharks. So this study used this method, method to, uh, to for Diet analysis, like using uh, cartoon web, cartoon web to collect fecal sample, and which is which is minimally invasive technique. Um, in addition, um, the the study of previous pre previous study also proved that this method uh, can give the results are uh, can give the results are consist with stomach content data. So the purpose of this study is to quantify major taxa supporting sharks biomass during the seasonal presence in the MAB. Also check if the species have specific dietary preferred pre, pre, uh, rents that may share they share resources differently. And I hope I will convince you in this talk class using biotechnic te technology to analyze analysis diets could help shark conservation. Uh, move on to the material and method. About sampling, sample collection. Uh, the, the sharks caught uh, through fishing activity during 11 cru cruises in uh, mid-Atlantic by from 2019 to 2022. And the sample size is 58. And this picture shows the sampling location. So how they get the sample? Uh, after they catch the shark, they will insert the cotton web 
into their cloaca and they can get the fecal, fecal DNA. Then they did the following experiments in the laboratory. And here is the result. Uh, the number means sequence read and read reads the number means sequence read and read reads is an inferred sequence of base pair. Two nucleotides represent one base pair. So this pie chart shows that uh, four kingdom were identified and amount am amount sec all sec sequence reads. The anomalia uh, occupy the highest the highest uh, proportion, accounting for 87.1, and the other three kingdoms accounting, uh, and other three kingdoms uh, are re are considered to result from contamination. So this study just focus on the anomalia to discuss, and this this. Bar chart shows the uh, number of the the different shark species they, they catch. So we can see the most of the sample is Crackerhinus plumpius, and the dark blue means uh, how how much the how many the uh, shark species they caught, and the light blue means um, this shark uh, species detect the fish species. So we can, it is obviously that not every shark detect fish, fish species. Only 28 of 58 sharks detect. So in this pie chart, we can observe that fish fishes dominated the animalia sequence rate. And for uh, most of the sequence rate, is ray fin fish accounting for 85.1 and the following is non non sharks elasmo brink accounting for 10.8 and in addition this study also used two way to to study the dietary preference the first one is the frequency of the prey presence in this uh, table the xx shows abbreviation of shark species and the y y x uh, shows the percent or not percent so we can see the dark blue means percent and the white blue means not percent so uh, this in this row uh, shows the frequency of the prey uh, of the prey presents so we can see the highest the highest number are these three species these three uh, prey species and these three uh, prey species is Atlantic Manhattan and Atlantic Mercurial and Little Skate. And another way to study a dietary preference is prey rate frequency in different shark species. So in this in this uh, chart below below is abbreviation of shark species and on the left hand of this chart is prey rate frequency. So we can see on the left hand of this line, this, uh, these two sharks like to eat Atlantic Manhattan and Little Skate. And these four kind of sh uh, species of shark like to eat Atlantic uh, material. So we can So we can see not only the frequency of the prey pre presents, but also the prey read frequency can uh, observe that uh, this shark like to eat these three prey species. In addition, this study also found the wasp waste food web situation. Uh, so what is wasp wasp west? Uh, this this term uh, describes the shape of the of the food web like this one like this one so uh wasp wasp web food uh, web uh, means many species are the button and on the top uh, traffic level but fewer in the middle so it is vulnerable to collapse with de decline with decline 
uh, middle species population. For example, uh, take this study for example. Um, it, the sharks rely on these three key prey. So if this prey uh, decline, so the uh, sharks will face the problem of food shortage. Okay. And this study also found the relationship between prey and migration. They found in the summer, when the pelagic fish species increase, the acoustic tracking data of these three species also increase. So it is obvious that sharks rely on this prey. Okay, so, uh, so this study achieved the the pur purpose set previously. For the first purpose, they found that prey is mainly composed of raving and non shark elect break. For the second purpose, they found that key prey were identified, including Atlantic Manhattan, Atlantic Mackerel, and Benthic elect break, such as Little Skates. Moreover, there is a strong relationship between prey and migration. So in conclusion, by dietary analysis, researchers can identify the primary prey of the apex predator, enabling the conservation of their resources. Thank you.